Now, when I tell you karma comes through for a motherfucker. Now, y'all remember a couple weeks ago, well, no, y'all haven't. Because I don't think I put that video out yet. Shit, see, now I'm going to have to put that video out so y'all can get content. But, honey, a couple weeks ago, a motherfucker gave me a, a one-star review. Because of the fact that I was given the wrong address and I was at the right address. And I had to get permission from DoorDash that they aren't gonna drop it off at the other customer's house, right? I mean, at the customer's right address. They thinking I'm trying to steal the food and shit. And I told y'all about this if y'all follow me on Instagram. See, if you ain't follow me on Instagram, y'all be missing out on a lot of shit, right? Honey. Old Puerto Rican boy want the darn gonna get saucy with me. And then this black boy, I said, oh, they don't know, bitch. I'm born and raised here. I'm from the dirty, dirty. You, you don't want to do that with me. Honey, don't let, don't let the fact that I'm feminine trans food because I will whoop both you and your boyfriend at the same time unbeknownst to you. <laughs> they darn gonna get sassy with me on the phone talking about when the fuck I'm coming with their pizza. And you know, the moment that they said that, I could have been a bitch and darn on took the shit back because I was still on Ramsey Street. So I could have zipped up and, and took the order back to Ramsey Street and they, they would have had to wait a whole nut because they couldn't have sent that same pizza back out. They could have, they would have had to wait another 45 minutes for the pizza to get darn on remade. But I said, you know what? They only three miles away and they not far from my house, right? I end up delivering the shit. Uh, and then we rectified it at the end with me and the Puerto Rican boy. Uh, that black one, honey, I guess it was destined for him not to come out that motherfucker house because it probably would have went the other way. Because once again, it's like it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Fault, but they still end up giving me a one star review. I currently got two one star reviews, four three star reviews, four four star reviews. I don't got no two star reviews, and I got like 82 five star reviews. So, overwhelmingly, people love Diva Wan. I got 82 five star reviews and only two one star reviews. So, my total. I'm sitting up at a 4.78 acceptance rating. So I'm still in the top dasher as far as, you know, how people view me. But, you know, the only thing that puts me out of top dasher is my acceptance rating. My customer rating is through the roof. Uh, another person gave me a one-star review because of their packaging. And it's like, I can't control that. Now... The only way that you can put that on me is if, like, it was a messy drop-off. Like, if I dropped your order or if I did something that damaged your order or if your food arrived cold or some shit like that, it's like, then you can possibly uh, say I'm at fault for that. But it's like, for stuff, because once again, they need to do better with how they rate how they um, tell customers to rate because sometimes stuff that they be complaining about with the restaurant like the, how the actual physical package is for the restaurant they darn on it goes negative on our end and it's like well shit I can't darn on help how they darn on package your shit it's just my job to get it to your house safely and make sure I don't fuck it up in any type of way but yeah don't darn on Shit, I was going to give him a dollar or so. This darn on person on a... Got in front of me. I ain't got no mask on. Child, you better hope this light turn green before these cars come up here. Because if these cars come up here, it's going to... I ain't gonna be able to get over there. Okay, the light turned green, y'all. Hold on. You welcome. But yeah, y'all, back to karma, though. Honey, as I was coming through here through my normal way, right? 
honey, how about it's a whole car accident in the back of the neighborhood? And it's like, damn, what in the fuck, y'all? Like, I, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna have to start just going off on the main street because it's like first they was there gonna paving the roads and shit. No, before that, they was darn on doing something with the wires. Then they was darn on looking into the sewer system. And then they was darn on paving the roads. And now here we got, you know, a whole car accident. And then, and the thing is, this is a small two-way street. And I can't go in the opposite lane because there's cars coming down. So I was like, shit, now I got to wait for these cars to come through for me to even get out here. But how about as I'm passing by, right, honey, there's a girl, you know, hood black girl or whatnot in her car. I mean, outside of her car, it's fully towed. And then you got the truck that looked like it got rear-ended. He done parked it on the side or whatnot. And it's like, it looks like his darn old truck is still, you know, usable. It's her car that can't move. So I'm trying to figure out, like, why does he got his darn on truck at a side? Like, is he leaving it for evidence? It's like, okay, nobody couldn't took a picture. Damn, here goes the ambulance right there. They might be going to, <laughs> to the folks, honey. Although both parties were okay. But my thing is this. They couldn't have just took a picture of what everything looked like and then just moved the car out of the way. Like, I understand it's a... It's a you know, a neighborhood or whatnot, but you know, at the same time, y'all causing more traffic issues. And I'm trying to figure out who, what in the world happened where y'all caused that much damage on that street because the speed limit is nothing but like 20 miles per hour. Once again, this is a this is a neighborhood road. You shouldn't have been going no more than 20 miles per hour. So I'm trying to figure out how in the hell did this bitch whole shit is crushed. As if, you know, they got in an accident on the highway going 50 some miles per hour. Because that's the extent of her damage. If they was going the speed limit, her car shouldn't have got as messed up as it did. Yeah, you know, these new age cars, they, they delicate and shit. It would have still folded a little bit. But I'm talking about the airbag deployed. Now, I, I'm not the best when it comes to math. And the, and the force that it takes for the air, but I could have sworn that the air plaid does not deploy unless you get hit at over like 30 miles per hour. I don't even think that your airbag supposed to deploy if you get hit less than 30 miles per hour. But once again, the maximum speed limit in this neighborhood is supposed to be like 20 miles per hour, 20, 25. So I'm trying to figure out how in the head that you got this much damage on your car. And he got a lot of rear end damage but honey, when I seen his darn on Carol Mill ass, I looked over there. <laughs> Child, I looked for a good minute, and I don't think he knew the reason why I was looking. I was like, ha ha, motherfucker. Already or not, here I come, coming on a cane for you. Oh, wait a minute. And now I got a Chick fil A order that's trying to come through and I'm just right here at the Chick-fil-A so let me see what this is about real quick y'all okay y'all been a minute since I've been at this Chick-fil-A it's actually a good order it's seven dollars going 3.2 miles and of course the majority of those miles is me going to the customer because I'm already right here at the restaurant see I'm glad I no longer have to wait in this line y'all I can just walk in the store and get the customer's order. Now, you know, as more people get vaccinated, I'm wondering when they're going to start allowing people to dine into the restaurant. Oh, I just spoke too soon. Look like there's people dining in right now. Oh, no, it's not. It says right here, dining room's closed. Did they take the pickup shelf off? Okay, please come straight ahead inside to the shelf where you will find your bag to label. Oh. Okay, y'all, so they don't, it used to be right here, so I guess now we come inside. 
Let me see my customer name. Shanae Ann, okay. This is new. Hello, where is your pickup shelf? Um, it is Janae in. They should be back right now. Okay, thank you. It's my first time up here, here y'all. Nice and clean. Way spacious than the one at Darn Gone Fell Estate, y'all. And that's the pickup shelf. Guess I should take a picture. Okay, y'all, I got you in this corner. Back to the car we go. Oh, they got the Chick-fil-A vehicles out here. But yeah, y'all, like I was saying about old boy, honey, karma done came back for his ass. Whole car fucked up, honey. That's what his ass get for giving me a damn one star review. See, this is the good thing about them being across the street from Walmart. I don't have to park in their parking lot. Because as you can tell with the traffic, it would be hell trying to get out of their parking lot. But anyways, let me now put this in the bag. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. Oh, put it in the bag. Now on to my customer. Okay, just got finished delivering that Chick-fil-A order. Very easy drop off to a house. Quick $7. So I'm up to $30. $32 for the day. My goal was $30 for the day. So anything that I make later on tonight will be pure profit. Well, not pure profit in a way because I only made 19 yesterday. So it'll make up for the lack of I meant Monday. It'll make up for the uh, what I didn't make, you know, Monday. Because I my goal is to get $30 a day every day I work this week. So, since I only made 19 Monday, I really need to make 41 a day. So, if I only make $9... If I only make $9 when I come out here at midnight, just one or two orders, you know, that'll put me at an average of $30 a day. And then we're going to repeat, you know, later into Thursday, you know, Thursday afternoon, evening time, morning time. I might come back out here around Thursday in the morning. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to repeat this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, Sunday, I'm not dashing when it hit midnight because that'll be Monday. But I will dash Saturday at midnight, which will be technically Sunday. But anyway. 
anyways, y'all, looks like I'm a one and done because it just, the hot spots have shifted drastically from Ramsey Street all the way up to the other side of town. And I'm not about to go out there and then the ball 7.45 at night. Cause I got to get back to the house, shower, watch some TV, respond back to some messages, uh, spy inquiries, and get ready to get back out here around midnight. Now hopefully it's bumping like it was last night when I seen that people were still ordering until two o'clock in the damn morning. Now that will be interesting if I can say I was out here to two something in the morning, y'all. It's just shocking to see that gas station, you know, back to normal. Because, honey, y'all remember a couple weeks ago, honey, they had this whole side, they had the whole side of the dang on road cut off honey and it's like how in the hell y'all take up the whole side of motherfucking darn going um what, what is this Pamela but anyways let's see if this dang on car accident is still here now by this time they probably gonna already rectify the situation because I think her car is still able to be moved. If not, you know, the tow truck people got to come there. Now, granted, he stays around the corner, though. So if he ain't there, honey, my petty ass would darn gonna zip around to the damn house <laughs> and darn gonna show y'all the car. Now, of course, we ain't gonna show the license plate and shit, you know, safety reasons. But I will be petty enough to be able to pass right by and give a <laughs> I will at least have some darn on the corn to have my mask on. Not because of, you know, COVID reasons, because I'm in my car with my window up and you well over 60 feet away. But it's more like see what was the point of them paving this damn road and shit? Then not allowing time. See, people don't came off from their from the areas of which it was getting paved and now it done created these ugly street parks on this street and it's kicking up underneath my car and the thing is I just got this car wash the other day it's like damn I just got this car washed under the thing and now here y'all is with this shit Oh shit, y'all the cops here now. Child, let me be petty walk dot car. Let me go on here and switch the darn on camera view, honey. There they go, y'all. Child, look at this shit right here. And see, we wouldn't be black folks if we weren't nosy. Serve your ass right. <laughs> yeah, I gave you the look, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! I wish this dark old thing could have swerved to his look like this, motherfucker. Come back here again. <laughs> I told you I didn't stay too far from your motherfucking ass. Ooh, child, that was a Oh, Lord, McDonald's, what you want? Let, let's see what McDonald's is talking about today. Shit. I don't want... See, I accepted the order going to McDonald's for um $5, 3.5 miles, right? And then I'm going to call it the night. Now, I got Grubhub and Uber on. And surprisingly, I could have went that way. But I just washed this car. I'm not about to go on the dirt road. But it's like, I could have been petty and zip right back that way, y'all. But I was like, child, 
they're going to really think I'm nitpicking now. But I am going to go back that way on my way back to the house. <laughs> but they was cleaning up the road and stuff, so they probably be gone by the time I zip back through that way. But ready or not, here she come. Commas waiting in for you. But ready or not, here she comes. Commas waiting in for you. See, I'm saying this shit. It might, it may not even be his car, but I could have sworn it that that black truck was in his yard originally. I don't know. He might just be a friend. I don't know. But would be more so funny if it is. I, I want to say it is their car. Anyways, let's see what darn gonna make Donna's got for us today. Hopefully they be on their best behavior. They got a new set of people up in there. And this new set of people have been diligent. Even a couple times that they parked this car, they have done got out there within five minutes. Now they still got a couple of the fuck ups up in there. Now I wish they'd go ahead and get all them out. Now my old dude there, the dark skinned one, the older one, he can stay. He can stay. And also the black girl. See, it's always us dark sisters. And y'all know I like to I like to put myself in the chocolate category, even though I'm not really chocolate. But you know, my show no chocolate sisters and brothers there, honey, they be up on it for the most part. And then it'd be that one, it'd it be that one person in your community that just you would think that a fellow queen would be on my side, right? He be one of the ones that be fucking up to. Plus size jolly motherfucker. Ooh, child. I, I need to start taking shifts more often if I'm going to see multiple trades throughout the day, honey. If we want to see trade in the midnight hour, in the midnight hour. Oh, I was about to say, I know they ain't parking motherfuckers already. With this limited crowd, child. Child, not that she got to go through the drive-thru again. Or is she parking? Oh my God, she going through the drive-thru again, y'all. I just seen her go from out of the drive-thru to the drive-thru. But anyways, let me go ahead. Oh no, she just went through the back way. Okay. Anyways, y'all, let me get my customer's order. I'll be back with y'all. Okay, it was bound to happen eventually. So mark it down, 610 plus dashes in. I get my first fried case. Um, but see, what she wasn't counting on was the fact that, see, you fucked up. Girl, you should have darn gone put, if you was going to try to play that game, Miss Janae, because it wasn't my last customer. And see, this is why you can't stereotype houses either. See, people be darn going, see, because people would have thought that it would have been this house I would have had to worry about. Because I just got finished dropping off to a low-income trailer park area. But the last customer, the Chick-fil-A, I dropped it off to a house in a in a neighborhood where it's like the rent would go for like nine, eight, nine hundred dollars easy, if not a thousand dollars. Cause I dropped off to a house with a garage. This bitch wanted to say she didn't get her order. Now mind you, this is as I'm at McDonald's. And and I just got finished talking about the queens there that don't darn on have no, you know, be screwing with your girl. It's like I already had to deal with the fat bitch there at the McDonald's. And now they got this new skinny gay up in there. Not the, li not the short one that's about 20 years old, but he look like he about 22, 23 too. Um, a little bit lighter in my complexion. 
but he did come out within a timely manner. Now that that should have been the time. New boy to go to Chick Fil A. Shit, let's see what Chick Fil A talking about. Bitch. I almost don't want to with the way that this shit done went down. Okay, y'all, they just tried to send me two orders back to back. Hello. But anyways, uh, I know she looking like, what the world is she doing over here? But yeah, y'all, they just tried to send me back to Chick-fil-A for $3 going seven miles. And then the other one was $13 going 8.9 miles. And I probably would have took that if it was going within like the right direction, like going down Ramsey Street. But it was trying to take me upwards of Ramsey Street. I was like, no, we ain't about to do that. It's 8.38. I'm trying to get back in the house by 9 um, because of the fact that I need to wash, eat, and get ready to get back out of here around 11 o'clock. If that's even possible because of the fact that now the...